All right, everybody, welcome back to another Ask a Dev Unreal Engine tutorial. My name is Kevin. We are going to be doing something a little bit different today. This is going to be a lot faster than our usual pace. 5.4 preview came out today, and there's a lot of cool new stuff in there. As we go through and we find things that change any of the videos that we've been doing, I wanted to go ahead and, and highlight those. And one of those in particular is uh, some changes they made to skeletal mesh editing for painting weights, particularly in the bind pose. So let's hop in. Let me show you how that applies to the pets tutorial and just painting weights in general that we just finished. So here we are in Unreal Engine. I have two Unreal Engine open. I want to show you what it used to be. You can see here, um, it, and the, the one that's on the screen right now, this is old 5.3. And when we are in the edit weight modes, you'll notice that we have our brush and we have our vertices. And when we were going through the tutorial, one of the things that I mentioned was it is very difficult to weight this drone because we did not have the ability to select a vertex and do something simple like grow and shrink our selection. It's almost like Epic was listening to us. So lo and behold, here's 5.4. Check this out, you all. You'll notice now when we're in the edit weight mode, we have our brush, but when we click on vertices, we have the edit selection option now. This makes all the difference in the world in being able to refine our weights and editing and as far as speeding up our workflow. So I thought it would be fun to see how fast with this new tool we could weight our drone. Start the timer. And I'll show you how to use this as we go as well. All right, so start the timer. So first things first, we're going to grab a chunk of our character's body. We want it bound to the cog. We're going to flood our, flood our vertex selection. We'll pick these up front too, flood those as well. I'm going to make sure that the flood amount the flood amount is one and I'm going to just replace. And that is going to make the entire body a weight of one. So let's move on to the left arm. All right, so here's our left forward wing. Let's flood our weight, or flood our selection. There's a couple other things I wanna get in here too. So let's just zoom in and make sure we get them all. Flood, we'll just take this top to flood and then we can replace. So now that's all done. Now we got the prop, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and do the gear next. Here's our left forward gear, flood, replace. Let's do the prop, the forward prop, flood, replace. Okay, and that front wing should be done. So let's move on to the back wing. I did not adjust my clipping planes. I should have done that left back wing. Let's flood the selection and replace. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing with, actually we'll just do this like this. Uh, let's do, this is going to be the left back wing still. Let's do flood and replace. And then we'll do the left back prop, flood and replace. And then we'll finally do the left back gear, flood and replace. So we've done the back wing now. All right, now let's do the right side. Uh, we probably could mirror this, but come on, let's just keep going. So uh, right back wing, let's just flood this. Okay, right back wing and let's replace. We'll do the right back prop. So let's flood that, right back prop and replace. And the right back gear, flood and make sure we pick the gear over here and replace. And then finally the front, same thing. Let's grab the whole thing, we'll flood that selection, right forward wing, flood and replace, right forward gear. Make sure I only get the gear, flood and replace and right forward prop. Make sure we have prop selected, flood and replace. Stop the clock, people, we are done. Do not forget to click except at the bottom, it's super sneaky. If you don't do this, it will not stick. And when we're done now, what we have to do, or all we have to do is if we can just test it, you can see, oh, there we go. That one works. Our prop works in the back. I think we missed something in our front prop. Uh, let's go back, see what we missed. Let's flood that selection. Actually, our forward wing is correct. Let's get our prop. Let's flood that. I think we must have missed that left forward prop. And replace. And accept. And let's check, check it now. There we go. So our props work. Our wings work. 
and we are basically at the exact point that we were at before, except this time we did it all in Unreal. We did it all wicked fast. Uh, let's do, here's our gear. Let's just check our gear. Our gears work. So we did it all in Unreal. We did it super fast and we didn't have to go to Blender. We didn't have to come to Maya and come back. It was simply a simple tool makes all the difference in the world. This is one of many new things that are coming in 5.4. As we bump into them, if it applies to a video that we've just finished doing recently, I'll record a quick video so you can see what some of the advantages are and throw it out here. As always, thanks for checking out the video. Thanks for being part of this community and I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.